Hi everyone, this is Margarita with City Gal Papatry. Please excuse my voice. I have a cold that I'm getting over, so <clears throat> I might sound a little raspy. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to use your cluster embellishments. So I have here a little container that I like to keep mine in. And I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas and some tips on using your little cluster embellishments that uh, you create. I love making these. I have uh, many videos where I create these cluster embellishments. And I do use mine. I don't use them all the time. Um, I think I enjoy more actually creating them but I do use them so I wanted to share some ideas if you were wondering how to use them so the first idea is to use them in a layout and so here I just have a very simple uh, 12 by 12 layout uh, I have uh, one pattern paper as my background it's got these little like gold polka dots on it and then I cut out a one inch um, I think this is actually an 11 inch square with one inch uh, thickness a frame that I put right on my background at an angle and then these that are here are actually some of the cluster embellishments that I've made as you can see they coordinate with each other they all have that pink glitter paper and they all have the little wording on them and so I think that they go well with each other and as you can see you know I place them in a triangular form so you have that visual triangle to kind of get your eye moving around the page and I'm just going to show you this with a photo so you have a quick example and so this is just a photo that I'm just going to use as an example um, and so you know you can place your photo anywhere on there you can also obviously add a border behind your photo you can make your photo smaller uh, and you can you know place it wherever you would like but you know this is uh, and you can add some journaling or, or something somewhere this is one way that you can use your uh, embellishments in a 12 by 12 layout. I also like to use them in 6 by 6 layouts. I actually like 6 by 6 layouts a little bit more because I tend to use a lot of smaller photos in my layouts. I like to take in sex photographs so I do create a lot of 6 by 6 layouts and so this is just an example of that. Um, I did cut my mat a pattern paper a little bit smaller than the background so I have a little border there and so I would um, adhere this down <coughs> and then you can easily find some coordinating or create some coordinating embellishment clusters to use on a layout like this as well and I will grab a photo to just show you what that would look like also all right and so here's a photo of just my my youngest when he was a little teeny baby and um, yeah so you could you know lay your photo on there you can add some wording and you know you can also add or subtract from your embellishment if you want to add a banner if you want to replace this word you can obviously stamp something on a different piece of paper strip and just adhere that onto there you can well I adhere this with a uh, glue dot so I could always remove this and add something else a heart or something else if I choose to um, and then same with this if you want to add some like you know uh, a fishtail banners underneath or a doily behind it you know however you want to make it work um, you know it's up to you you know how it depends how you want your layout to to you know come together so yeah so this is just an example of a six by six layout and then I think that one of the most common ways that I use my embellishments are in cards and I think someone was asking for examples of that and so here are some examples so this is um, a tag cluster embellishment that is on this card here is another this is another little tag cluster embellishment that I just added to some other pieces of pattern paper and created this card same here here's another cluster and then these were from a previous video they were tag embellishments and I used them on these cards as well okay and I'm gonna make one of these right on camera so I like to use a lot of white on white 
uh, with my cards. I like to create a lot of card bases because this gives me the freedom to use or not use it, put it aside until I need it, or if I'm not entirely happy with it, I can always scrap it and use it for something else. Um, so here's the card base, and that is white, and then this is a four and a quarter by five and a half card base. And then my um, card mat is also white and uh, it is one eighth of an inch smaller in size. Uh, because I'm using white on white, I like to emboss my paper. You could just use a plain piece of, um, you know, white mat over your white card stock. That is fine over, over your white card base. That's fine. It's up to you. Uh, I do like to add a little bit of texture, which is why I embossed. Uh, some chevron shapes onto this piece of cardstock and I'm going to be using that as a mat and then I chose this little cluster embellishment that you might think you know what else would you use it for uh, well I'm gonna use it in a card and it says uh, little one on there and this is just one of those little cutout cards from a 6x6 paper pad uh, and so that's gonna be my my focal point on this card. Now because I don't want it just floating there, I grabbed a strip of paper from my scrap stash that I am going to use to anchor that onto there just like that. It is up to you if you want your strip to go from the end, from the sides of your card base or if you want to trim it to just the edges of your card mat. I'm going to leave it the length of the card base because I, I prefer that it sticks out just a little bit to kind of tie everything together. So I'm just going to cut that. And then I'm simply just going to put my card together. I'm using a uh, Xyron tape runner. I like these. I usually use my large version, but I don't. Uh, I don't have a refill for that right now. All right. I'm gonna center that, and then I will decide where I want this. Okay, and now I'm going to just adhere this right onto that strip. Alright, now that's a really simple way of dressing up a card. It already has a sentiment because it does say little one right on the uh, embellishment. And then if you want to play this up even more, I do have a couple of little enamel stickers here, but you can add some shimmer, you could add some spritz, you could um, add maybe some shine with uh, glossy accents on you know, maybe the tag here or, um, you know, wherever you like, you can add some liquid pearls, I think you call them, I don't normally use them, or you could add sequins. Um, you could also add a twine a bow or a ribbon, uh, I mean, you name it. Obviously, you can use your imagination, your creativity to make it your own personal style and uh, your personal taste and for whatever your occasion is. And then the last idea I have is to put it in, uh, to use them in the mini albums. So um, obviously there are many more ideas and things that you can use them with, not just this, but these are the ones that I'm going to be sharing today. And I am not quite finished with this mini album. This mini album was inspired by Bia Valint. And when I made this, I saw one of her mini album videos. They are really great videos, actually. She is so creative and talented, and I was inspired to make one uh, of my own. And so I did make this one a little bit uh, based on her design. So uh, yeah, I'm not quite finished. I still have a couple of uh, group pages to go. But anyway, I just wanted to use this as an example. So this is a good way to also use some embellishments. And I'm just going to grab my 
my big pile of embellishments here and just kind of show how you could use these in here now see I have some Halloween if you're using uh, if you want to create a layout that's Halloween themed you can use you know whatever embellishments you have these are a little bit more vintage vintage styled so I would use that for a vintage layout and um, let's see here's um, here's one that might go with what I have here so you know that could go like that I'd add a little bit of twine or ribbon there and then maybe a photo or a note uh, underneath my little belt there that could also go there let's see um, so you know these can go with lots of things here's another page where I think that might be okay this is great for a housewarming card or if you want a housewarming layout that would work well with that Here's another, I think this works well there. I like that. You could also use these in junk journals if you wanted to um, add them to your junk journal layouts, that would also work. And you can also add them to your planners if you want to um, create cluster uh, embellishments that are very specific to your planner. You could use something like this. It says today was a good day, or you could stamp that on there and put it on your planner. Um, you know it's really to whatever your style is but these are very versatile I love creating them uh, because they allow me to be uh, creative without too many rules and I get to stash them away and then I pull them out when I want to create some stuff and um, I, I do find them that find that they're very versatile and they can be used for many different things I hope you guys found this helpful if you have any other questions about how to use uh, these embellishments or you want to see more embellishment videos please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you all again soon I have a lot more ideas for you guys coming up see you next time